So don't think how is the Sri Lanka economy in, uh, during the um, last week? How is your overall assessment about Sri Lanka? Yes, we can. We could see that uh, further improvement in all aspects uh, of the economy. Uh, the real sector economic uh, progress uh, continuing. Uh, we can see the fourth quarter growth numbers uh, uh, within uh, next few months. and uh, other uh, sectors the the external trade is continue to expand and uh, uh, the other uh, areas are the data uh, is that uh, the inflation numbers came uh, september inflation uh, further moderated to 6.4% uh, compared to 7% in the previous month and at the same time we expect further moderation in the inflation rate during the next uh, couple of months also uh, yesterday the central bank revised the annual growth target what is the reason for that at the beginning of the year we targeted uh, 8.5% growth in 2011 as uh, we very well know that uh, during the first quarter due to the devastating uh, floods the agriculture sector recorded some setback actually the first quarter agriculture growth was uh, minus 5.1 so taking that into account and also taking into the progress that uh, we have made during the second quarter we revised our growth target for 2011 to 8.3% from 8.5% for the future of the agriculture sector what your prediction about that? during the second half we expect uh, positive growth so that is why the final growth number would be 8.3% first half the growth was 8% so during the second half uh, we expect more than 8% growth so that is why uh, the the annual growth uh, would be 8.3% uh, it is mainly because the services and uh, industrial sector would perform better during the second half as they did during the first half how about the exchange rate situation there is tremendous pressure nowadays uh, the exchange rate policy of the central bank uh, has been very clear uh, we intervene in the market both side to purchase as well as uh, selling the selling foreign exchange to mitigate any undue pressure in the foreign exchange market during the first half we have been in the both side we purchased we sold uh, and uh, we could see some pressure in the foreign exchange market uh, during july august and to some extent in september also this is mainly due to increased import expenditure uh, mainly uh, uh, due to increased uh, oil bill payments as we know that uh, during july august september uh, we in, in uh, electricity generation we had to largely depend on thermal power generation for which uh, we wanted we, we needed more uh, oil to import so we had to pay for that therefore there were increased uh, oil bill payments uh, during this months and at the same time imports also increased uh, all sort of uh, imports including uh, intermediate goods as well as uh, investment good imports uh, so th- that is why there was uh, some pressure in the for next exchange market we think that it will mitigate in coming months with increased level of inflows any particular solution for to control the import pressure no there is no any control mm-hmm. uh, we want to uh, prescribe any controls on imports uh, because uh, as you uh, indicated uh, the, the the import uh, uh, the the consumption goods imports although it is it considered only 20% the tariff reduction introduced in the last budget uh, uh, is impacting now now with the reduced import uh, tariff on motor vehicles electric items electronic items etc now people are purchasing uh, those items in large quantities so that also uh, has an impact on increased uh, import expenditure how about the foreign direct investment to the country for direct investment during the first uh, six months we had uh, 417 million us dollar worth of foreign direct investment uh, during 2011 the targeted number is 900 million so we are hopeful that uh, 
uh, that uh, we we could uh, reach that level for the capital market uh, for this uh, any for the direct investments uh, for that in uh, yes in the in the uh, stock market what we have uh, seen is that uh, dividend last uh, couple of months it was uh, uh, sort of flat there was no significant uh, improvement and uh, also what we have seen is uh, there were no significant uh, you know for in um, yeah, investment this is uh, reflect this is uh, reflective of uh, you know global capital market conditions uh, so far i think uh, if you look at uh, <coughs> capital market or stock markets <coughs> in this region all recorded minus growth whereas the colombo stock exchange recorded the positive growth so that is an encouraging how about the europe and usa <coughs> economic crisis uh, impact to the country uh, still we don't feel in significant way uh, any impact on our uh, trade the relations should come from trade and finance so sources to trade with these countries are improving uh, during the first 8 months exports our exports has uh, been growing at 35% so that is a remarkable growth rate we have uh, never seen that level of growth in the far past so that reflect that the 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 slow down in uh, the uh, problems in the us and uh, eu markets had uh, no significant impact on our trading activities anything that uh, uh that's all okay thank, thank you, you.